AM 970. Curtis Sliwa dot com is the website. AM 970 is in New York, isn't it, Curtis? That's exactly right. You can reach out and touch me wirelessly. I love that. It titillates me. <laughs> okay. Curtis, uh, from your point of view, what will make a winner in tonight's debate? I've seen, you know, the you know, Fox was, uh, and all of the, the conservative pundits seem to think that Joe Biden actually didn't win against Paul Ryan because he smiled too much. Um, uh, and and the liberals, I, th- I think, by and large, feel that Mitt Romney did win against the president in the first debate, um, you know, because he was successful in getting 27 lies out in 38 seconds, none of which were challenged. So what, what you know, that's, that's my analysis. What, what's yours? What's, what's going to make a winner in this thing? Tom, I'm feeling good because Long Island's own Lindsay Lowen has decided not to cast a ballot with her other trendoid, freakazoid friends and go with Obama. She's for Romney. And knowing that Snooky of Jersey Shore is for Romney, I think I'm feeling good at least about the subcultural vote on this issue. But I think you so. Wait a minute. You're Romney saying that you've got you've got is, you've got who's you've filled who's filled with the feeling that he can take this president out. Unfortunately, there are going to be a lot of people who get in between both candidates, and we may not really see anything that amounts to any kind of a debate other than answering questions. So you're worried that Candy Crowley won't be a potted plant like Jim Lehrer was? Oh, no, she won't. She's got, remember, I read she was going through transcendental meditation, the Maharashi Yogi, she was channeling him. She's going to be able to separate these two. But let, let's face it, you've got people who are going to be asking normal questions and some, sometimes some bizarre questions that may take both candidates off well, of the train of thought that we'd like them I, to be I don't on. disagree with you, Curtis, and, and here's the thing that astounds me. This is, these are going to be questions from people who are undecided voters. I have to say, at this, you know, uh, here we are, you know, what, three, three, three weeks and change out from the election. Anybody who's an undecided voter at this point in time, in my mind, is an idiot. Why would they fill the room with idiots and, ask, and let them ask questions of the candidates? Well, Tom, I take a little different point of view. I say, look, we're paying for these debates, and there are people who have legitimate concerns and questions about both candidates. Let's face it, neither has been overwhelming even to their own supporters. So I don't think that's true. 5% that they estimate that are out there, they could go in either direction. They're entitled to hear what both have to say tonight, and then in the next one with Bob Schieffert. And then, obviously, with the barrage of lies that come from both sides, with the pack ads and the 30-second sound bites that they approve of. So I think the debate format is the best way to just see them juxtapositioned against one another. Yeah, well, I don't disagree with that. But do you, I mean, you're a radio talk show host. Do you have any callers who are calling up saying, I'm not sure who I'm going to vote for? Oh, look, uh, I can't even find one Obama supporter on my station, although I have a a partner at night. I do two shows. I tell my partner, look, I'm going to keep an open mind because I'm not thrilled with either right now. Too many lies are coming out, too many distortions. And I just yeah, no, it's a real problem with Mitt Romney doing that, isn't it? Hopefully not in 30-second sound bites that can answer some of the very complicated problems that we're all facing. Yeah, and, 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 and speaking of all those lies and distortions that are coming out of the Romney campaign, how, how, do, how do you think either candidate should deal with the other candidate if they say something that's patently untrue? Oh, boy, you slipped me a mickey there, Tom. You say the Romney campaign. What about the Benghazi lie? What about, oh, it was all about the film. It was all about the film. Hey, come on. That was such a blatant lie. And now, finally... Curtis, I'm really, I'm really disappointed to hear you. I, 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 you know, I, you and I have known each other for a long time. I, I am, I'm frankly astounded and disappointed to hear you try to use the death of two security officers and two U.S. diplomats who did have a security detail, by the way, they were killed, um, as, as, a political, as a political hit against the president. That, you know, that, that, that would be like, like you know, my saying uh, George W. Bush is responsible for 9-11. You know, George W. Bush, when he was asked who was responsible for 9-11, said it was Osama bin Laden. The people who killed our, the, 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 the two uh, State Department officials and their two security guards, those were, you know, local... Al Qaeda affiliated people. We pretty much know who they are, and they're going to be taken out. You really think 
that that this or is this going to be is this going to be the Monica thing? Is this going to be the thing that the Republicans are going to try and impeach Obama about no, 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 if, but, if he gets another term? Are you predicting that forty eight hours before the last votes are cast, that some tomahawk missile? Some missile somewhere under the ocean in the Mediterranean will reach out and take care of the Al Qaeda people responsible for the attack of the concert. Look, I think there's a good chance they've already been taken care of. Mistakes when it's come to Al Qaeda, we've been a dollar short and a day late sometimes. Why couldn't the president, through the uh, secretary to the United Nations, Rice, who seemed to be the spokesperson for a while, just acknowledge? Look, they caught us with our guard down. It won't happen again. We'll make sure it never happens again, period. The American people understand that, but no. Oh. We've got to blame this, this crazy, nutty film by this bank embezzler well, uh, for the reason... Well, again, uh, again, Curtis, you're, 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 Curtis, can you hear me? You don't believe that. Can you hear me? Curtis? Yes. Okay, I just, I just wanted to make sure, because I, you know... Uh, uh, you don't really, you never, you don't you really never. believe that, Tom. Come on, let's be honest. We what, know what? Al-Qaeda. Curtis, I, you know, I've, got, I've got the timeline here in front of me. If you, if you want, we can go through the timeline. I, I, there's no there there. And, and, and it's, this is just, if this is what you guys have, if this is what you think the Republican Party is going to win on, that, that you know, these, the, these four diplomats were killed by, by terrorists, and somehow that's, that's, that's you know, going to, turn the American presidential election. I think that's a tragic commentary on your political positions in the Republican parties. Curtis? Hello. Yeah. I mean, yes, you, you yes, got, yes. We, we got, we got, we got, we have the lowest, ta- we have the more rich people than any country in the world. We get the lowest taxes on rich people of any other developed country in the world. We've got more children living in poverty than any other developed country in the world. Tell me that isn't a big deal. Oh, it is, and both of these candidates love rich people when it comes to getting donations. I have never seen so much harvesting of so much money from so many rich people in any campaign. Tom, you would have to admit it. Both candidates have said no, no to any of the restraints that existed before the public matching funds. Actually, not true. President Obama and his... Rich people into ATM machines. It's it's not true, Curtis. You know, President Obama in his State of the Union address two years ago called for citizens, you know, called out Citizens United as a disaster. On multiple occasions, he and various other uh, Democrats and and people uh, in his campaign have said, you know, we need some at least transparency. uh, A a piece of legislation which is supported by over 80% of the American public, which would simply say, you know, if the Koch brothers buy an ad, they have to put their name at the end of it rather than run it through some front group like Carl Carl Rove's laundering operation that you know if they're going to buy an, if they're going to try and buy an election we have to know who they are that you know the the Republicans are blocking all of this stuff this is this is Republican Republicans are the, you guys you guys are the ones cozying up to the billionaires and how, oh, no, how does no, an okay. oligarchy yeah, help Barack America? Obama is no Mahatma Gandhi here. You know, no, he's taking money from rich people too. But the sudden, rich people who are giving uh, money to threat. Obama. Come on, the guy is out there with billionaires and gazillionaires himself, whining, dining, and profiling. And those people are going to see their taxes go up as a result of giving money to him. Well, and whereas money whereas Shelley Adelson you know, comes America, right out and says, when he gives money to Republicans, like to he's making an investment to make sure that they've taken care of the winner one way or the other. You know that, Tom. Shelley Adelson comes right out and says, when he's bankrolling a politician, he's making an investment. Aren't they all? Aren't they all? I, I believe. I believe that the, the that the, 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 the people. Uh, you know, when Bill Maher gave a million bucks to the Obama campaign, he was doing it because he wanted a better America, not because he wanted a lower tax rate. I don't think Shelley Adelson was casinos off the coast of China bringing all that money into this campaign. Uh, frankly, cares that much about a better America. I think he's got a very narrow, much more narrow agenda. But anyhow, Curtis Sliwa, CurtisSliwa.com is the website. Thanks for being with us, Curtis. My pleasure, Tom.